14 May 2020, we did a video on islands saying that we had 13 ways to build new walls. And now I am back. But with better quality, I hope. <laughs> okay, welcome back everyone to my YouTube channel. It's Galaxy nowadays instead of Galaxy. So welcome to the rebrand of my channel. Will we have more videos? I will try to. I am still in college, but in November I will be graduating of my college. Yes, guys, I will have finally a degree. So, today as you can see, I already am in the Halloween mood. Yeah, I got a Halloween character. Look how adorable she is. She is adorable. She is cute. But we're back in islands. And it has been a while guys, it has been a while since I've seen you all, so welcome back everyone that's watching the video. And today I will show you 13 ways that I have built new walls. Now I hope they are actually 13, because I didn't count. So let's get over to that place. Do -do -do. This is my island right now, I got an onion farm. Yes, I still love my onion farms. I got a little shop going on there. Lots and lots of flowers. Look, I make an orange hibiscus. Uh, berries, of course. Carrots. Over here is a little bit farm of star fruit, tomatoes, spinach, uh, pumpkins. There were watermelons, but oh, yeah, watermelons. Uh, normally, I put dragon fruit on here. We got avocado trees. We got a star fruit farm going with a packager. But now we are going to the walls. So, everyone, we have some new walls going. And they are definitely not 13, they are 12. So, first of all, we got this little design over here. It has a metaphor like style. You can not add this little stone. That one is just terrain stuff. Doing terrain stuff. Ha, I can stand in it. With this metal wall style makes you build castles. It has a cute little lantern and a cute little wood block to add some details. As you can see there is some depth in it by using some stairs. There are no slabs used in this um, building. So the lantern makes it sure that it lights up at night time. Because we do have day and night time over here. The next one is another kind of metaphor kind style, but this is more based for houses, not for farms. I mean, it could be possible for farms, but if you want your onions or whatever falling out of them, I would not use this for farms. I would use it for a shop or any kind of um, like cute farms like these. Hey, it's an onion. But definitely not use it for farm. It, it's, it's quite simplistic. We have used some stairs. We have used some nice little pine wood. This is all pine and stone, by the way. We used some slabbies. Put them slabs on the slabs. Over here, it's kind of the same story. Only we have added glass and a black layer. This black layer is actually not black clay or black wool or whatever. We actually used coal blocks to make this black layer. So as you can see, this is the kind of design that we have. It gives a little bit of cut score 5 due to the mushrooms that we have added. The black kind of stands out due to it, well, it being black. <laughs> and it goes nicely with the pine wood slabs and the pine wood stairs and the pine wood blocks. Over here, we have a big wooden and glass window. Um, as you can see, this block went... Weirdly, don't know what happened there. It's glitched out, so we're gonna get our eggs and fix that. Boom. Okay, there you go. This is a little window kind of thing. I used pine doors to make it look like the window had some kind of curtains or like protection on it. Then I used stone under here with some pine wood detail. Yes, I love using pine wood, guys. It's it's a thing. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's a thing. But I love using pine wood. It makes it look so cute. And I love how I use the pine doors to make it look like a kind of window. Over here we have another wall design. I have no idea what I did here. I liked the design at first. Then I didn't like it. Then I liked it. The difference is a little bit of the kind of... So I used this oak plank 
that I used to uh, add a little bit more color into it. Then I used pine stairs, uh, just normal stone blocks and everything. Then we go back to the other side over here. Oh gosh, I love this design. It has a metaphor style. It has lanterns. It has everything you need to survive. No, we don't need to survive in this game. But if you want, you can build this in Minecraft too. Yes, you can. So basically it has a little window so you can look through the window, see if anything is going on outside. It has the protection that you need. If you can, uh, if you want, you could make in the inside a little place to shoot arrows, if that was a thing in here. But it's just cute, useful and lovely. This one over here is made with a little bit of, I think it was sandstone. Now I am not quite knowledgeable on sandstone but i think it was sandstone it has a small window it has the nice cute little design of wheel a bow and it has two lanterns to lit it up due to the lenders are there there the uh, orange um, color fairy lits up and reflects back also if you look at the glass it kind of looks like it's an orange white like glass which it is, it's just white, but due to the reflection, it looks like that. And then over here, we got a one made out of stone, well, sandstone blocks. It's simply, it's a window, and you can kind of go inside. It gives you a lot of depth, if you know what I mean. I mean, you could maybe put some plants in here, I don't know. You can do with it what you want. But I suggest just using this for towers, or those kind of signs. Then over here we have the two aquamarine like thingies. A lot of people love using aquamarine with lanterns because it, as you can see, it's bright. It just stands out from the rest. It's bright, it's knowledgeable. You can see it and such. So lanterns are definitely an add-on on your building. So this is a simplistic design. You could also replace the lanterns and put them on here on the side. And I put some glass in it to make it look more cute. What you can also do is turn these around and put a plant on them. We have uh, pots actually in this game. Now I have to uh, find it. Because it was called the blue flower plant. But you could put them on there if you want. So those are the two aquamarines. They are very useful for shops basically. A lot of stuff I have here are most useful for shops or towers. Then this is the, oh, we we do have, no, this is, this is 11? Huh. So over here, um, I was thinking about adding some glass to it, but then I kept it open, but I will show you guys how it's sh shown with glass. So this one is just a cute, small, Asian style uh, pattern of mine. So I love using black and red uh, for Asian style and sometimes pink as that's the most colors we have around here that fits the style. Then you use some pine with slabs, it's quite the easiest design. And if you want to, you can of course put a plant on it. Plants. So that's our, those are 11 design. I don't know why I made 11, I thought I made like at least 12. Which is stupid, so we're going to build some while you guys are watching me. So let me think about a design. I was actually, I haven't used gold yet as a design. So first of all, I'm gonna get the pine wood. If I still have pine wood, I don't. Then we use pine planks. So we're gonna build up with five pine planks. Skip three, build up with five pine planks too. Then we look a little bit back and think about a design. So let's say I would love to use gold in it because I want to make something like a church like. So we could do something like this, add it up with black, making it like a cross like thingy. What we could do is get some uh, slabs, put them on it to create depth. So first we're gonna use stairs over here. To create the same sense of depth again. Then we go 
over here and put it right over there. Now what you could do is you could cover this up with slap steel. Um, but if you really just wanted to have it like a church like design, I would just keep it like this. Because it's easy in search, but you could probably do something like this as well. To make it seem more uh, in depth and such. So this would be like a just like the sign which is making it 12 right now. So let's get our last one. We do not have this one yet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 3 steps over and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create... Some in-depth stuff um, I'm just thinking right now how I actually want this so and if you want you can either add glass blocks which will stand out by the way so this is something only if you want so you can add like glass blocks To make like a plus sign kind of shape. Or what you also could do. Is make a layer behind this. So you have just one color behind it. Which again makes the depth more insidely. So it looks more like it's in depth. And the inside you can just do what you want. I kind of like this. I would finish it off with something like putting here some stuff or maybe even if you want you can go upwards and try something like this. Like I said the more in depth the more uh, details you have. You could do something like this. You can also put fences. I do not have fences in my inventory. Which makes it uh, for me impossible to use fences right now. If you want to, you could also change the walls to look at more matching or such. Let's say you want to add gold to the walls. And such. So you have extra design that you can add to this one. Now these uh, wall designs are quite simple, but they can be used for a lot. So I'm going to show you guys around because I don't actually use any of these wall designs. Currently I have this going on at my um, place. So this one is a wall design that's basically like... Um, I put it a bit of a round. You see how it's a little bit round? So this wall design uh, is just a cute wall design. You have a big window that you can look at. Uh, flowers to look at from the inside. Besides. Then I have a little small red black pattern, then again window, red black pattern, window, corner, window, red, window, corner, red black, corner, red black, corner, window, window, <laughs> window, corner and such. I recently added this little design over here uh, to my um, thing. but. I don't really like it there yet, so I'm still trying to find the right place for me to put it. And where did this disappear to? So for now, I'm just probably putting it around here. Kinda wanna put both of these, like... Right around the... But now I don't know where to put my... Oh, I can still put it behind it. Actually, I might just put it. That's not the right way. LMAO. Oop. That's still not the right way. Okay. There we go. And that is my Asian kind like building. So let me know guys which one of these 13 designs... Did you like the rest? We're gonna number them. Did you like number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six? 
number seven, number eight, number nine, number ten, number eleven, number twelve, or number thirteen. Let me know, guys. Personally, my favorite is doo -doo -doo -doo. this one. I really love the mushroom effect with it. And it's just adorable and cute. So, guys, again, let me know in the comments. Yeah, right there. What design you like the most. And I'll see you guys then. Like somewhere over there. And maybe subscribe. And I'll see you guys all later. Bye-bye. Gally is out.